Good morning. It's Tuesday, December 7th, 2021. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, A Life with Focus, and our scripture is 2 Peter chapter 1. By His divine power, God has given us everything we need for living a godly life. We have received all this by coming to know Him, the One who called us to Himself by means of His marvelous glory and excellence. And because of His glory and excellence, He has given us great and precious promises. These are the promises that enable you to share His divine nature and escape the world's corruption caused by human desires. In view of all this, make every effort to respond to God's promises. Supplement your faith with a generous provision of moral excellence, and moral excellence with knowledge, and knowledge with self-control, and self-control with patient endurance, and patient endurance with godliness, and godliness with brotherly affection, and brotherly affection with love for everyone. The more you grow like this, the more productive and useful you will be in your knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. But those who fail to develop in this way are short-sighted or blind, forgetting that they have been cleansed from their old sins. So, dear brothers and sisters, work hard to prove that you really are among those God has called and chosen. Do these things and you'll never fall away then God will give you a grand entrance into the eternal kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I watched a TV show recently where one of the main characters, a lawyer, gets a middle-aged wake-up call. As an opportunity of a lifetime to advance her career presents herself, she hires a campaign strategist to test the waters for a run at public office. Eventually, the idea is scrapped because the strategist discovers the likability factor just isn't there. To be electable these days, the public wants more than just competence. A candidate must have personality. The strategist probes deeper and forces the lawyer to face what her life is really like. She has almost no friends, does not travel, go to events, or have a life outside of her immediate family. As for public appeal, she's just part of the landscape. With Peter, the likability factor wasn't even an afterthought. For the outspoken apostle, the more important focus in life is godliness. He informs his flock that God has placed in their toolboxes everything needed to turn their lives in a godly direction to find the pathway to a life of moral excellence. This aspiration to focus on building a life that's focused on pleasing God rather than receiving the acclaim of personal glory is fueled by God's own promises. Peter lays out a road map that will take you to the promised land of godliness, the growing of our faith, which produces mature, fruitful disciples of Christ. Notice the progression from moral excellence to the application of love. Peter writes, supplement your faith with a generous provision of moral excellence, and moral excellence with knowledge, and knowledge with self-control, and self-control with patient endurance and patient endurance with godliness, and godliness with brotherly affection, and brotherly affection with love for everyone. Like the other apostles, Peter was once concerned with seeing Jesus have an earthly kingdom. Somewhere in the travels and trials, Peter finally got what Jesus said about a kingdom that's far greater than any earthly public office or acclaim. He got a glimpse of the kingdom of God. For you today, so what's the focus of your life? And what kingdom and king holds your heart? You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.